Okay, let's walk you through week one in Math 208. This is our Math 208 homepage, as I showed in a previous video. And I can click on week one here or in the list of the outline or in the header at the top. Let's go to week one. What are you going to do in a typical week? We have an outline, we have assessments, homeworks, or exams, we have handouts, video and technology. So our outline are just the sections that we're covering in the book this week. And in the first week we're covering four sections, the first chapter of the book. Notice I just defined some terms I want you to make sure you can understand. So I'm not writing out the definitions of these. This is why you're reading the book and reviewing the book and notes. Make your own notes to describe these terms to yourself. Recommended problems. This book is nicely organized with practice problems and homework problems with their answers at the back of each chapter. So you're not flipping always back to the very end of the book. So here, recommended problems. The first list is the practice problems, just some short answer problems. And then the second list right here are longer problems where you get to do something, make something, construct something. And here I can put up sample answers for you if you'd like to see some sample answers. For example, in section 1.3, I've posted a sample answer for problem 84. If you click on that problem, you see the answer that I wrote for problem 84. Here I kind of cheated by copying the page out of the book and then filling in their table and answering their questions. So if you want to work through these recommended problems and ask me to post a solution to one of them, by all means, I will do that. I won't post solutions all the time without people asking because I'm gonna depend on you doing that work. Every week I'll show you what assessments are due, what homework or exams might be due. For example, in your computer homework, you're working on these sections in that computer homework, statistics, definitions, frequency distributions, group data histograms, graphs, measures of central tendency, measures of variation of fractiles. That's essentially the first two chapters, more or less, in this book. And I'm letting you work on those. I suggest you complete them by February 1st. But let me tell you about the Alta homework. The Alta homework is a mastery-based homework system. You don't get points off if you do a question wrong. What you get if you get a question wrong is you get some instruction. And so you get to redo, do and redo these problems until you've demonstrated to the system that you've mastered them at 100% or 90% or 85%, whatever time you put into that. So you can work and rework these problems until you're 100% credit on those. That'll take you some time. Every one of these topics here, I would say estimating time to master each one of those in there is, uh, it could be one, one and a half hours. But I'm letting you work on this for an entire month. Even after the month is over, you can still work on this and get your 100% mastery credit. But this will be a full one fifth of your grade. So you want to make sure as you go through the sections and the topics that you master a lot of these. And I think I've divided them into like six categories over the semester so that you take as much of that credit as you can get. Make this number 100% and then you've got a full 20% of your grade banked. Written homework. I need to help you learn how to write things. And so each week I'm gonna give you something to write, something that I can read, something that I can critique and show you how to start to learn to write statistics. These problems are very similar to the ones in the book and I have a link right here. But you could just follow this link and print out this first homework. I asked you two questions essentially from the book. Now you might have to add a graph or add something else to this. Maybe it's one pages, maybe it's two pages. That's your first homework, and it's due on the 19th. That's Tuesday, January 19th. And after people hand it in, I'll also post a solution for people to compare. Exams, 
Remember I said the semester is broken down into three sections with three exams. <coughs> so exams are also something you're gonna write up and submit to me as a PDF. Both of these written assignments you submit to our assignments folder. And the first exam covers chapters one through five, and that will be due Wednesday, February 17th. We'll talk more about the exams as we get closer to those dates. Here I'll produce handouts from our office hours or class sessions. When we take notes in the class session, we write things down. I will physically copy those papers and put them here for you to check. If you want to have your own copies or if you were not available to come to the session. So here you can get notes to any of the office hours or any of the class sessions. I might put some general announcements out from time to time. These first two announcements are about math awards sponsored by the mathematics department or by the college. So you may qualify for some interesting awards. You can read these and ask me about them later if you like. Honors program is very, very valuable. And so here's a link to a video where the director of the honors program, Mark Brown, is talking about some of the things that you can do with or in the honors program. A lot of center, tutoring center services available for you this semester. So click on the tutoring center services and see what's available. Math 208 does have some study groups that are sponsored by the tutoring center. Everybody's got a crazy time scheduling things. So I don't know what fits into your schedule, but I know that they plan to offer Math 208 study groups, uh, I believe on Fridays at 10 in the morning. In this section of our weekly page, you'll see video, either playlist in my YouTube channel or individual problems that I've made videos of to help you, like the welcome to our course homepage video. So if you click on this link, you go to a YouTube video. Hi, my name's Dave. Dave. And I'm not gonna replay that YouTube video for you right now, but here's the idea. Since we're not face to face, we're not in person, maybe I can help you out with some short, quick videos like I'm trying to do right now. So I have playlists at YouTube for videos of all the class sessions. Whenever we do a class session, I'll put it into the playlist at YouTube. So if you're not available to come to class session, you can view that video later at your own convenience. If you ask me about some of the recommended problems, I'll make short videos to explain the problems and then post them in this playlist. Or topics such as welcome to our course homepage, I'll post individual topics for you to learn from. Finally, on each weekly page, I have a technology section where I might have links to different ways you could use your calculator or the online calculator Desmos or even Excel. I could open up an Excel spreadsheet and create frequency tables very neatly and create graphs to go along with them. So I've posted an example tied to your book. Example 117, had you create a frequency table and some graphs. I show you how to do this with Excel. If you never used Zoom meetings before, you can check out this information about joining a Zoom webinar. You will have to, as you hand in papers or homework or exams, You'll have to make PDF copies of the papers. You'll have to make good, clear images of your written papers. And for that reason, you saw on the syllabus, I said there are three very good programs for that purpose. Microsoft Lens, Apple Notes, or Adobe Scan. Uh, I kind of favor Microsoft Lens or Apple Notes. I'm not a very big fan of Adobe, and I could give you lots of reasons why. But, uh, Microsoft Lens, Apple Notes, even Adobe Scan, they're all safe for your phone. I just think Adobe throws too much adware into their stuff. Okay, that's a scan through a typical week in our course. And you can use these links to pop in and out between the technology or the assessments or back to the homepage.
And that's how you're going to navigate our course week by week. I'll keep adding material.